Hey, it's you again. That's right. Hello. So, uh, if you're watching this, you've probably seen the video uh, up in the up in the card I just put. Uh, it's uh, it's me spending a lot of emeralds, basically over two billion, actually. So yeah, very, very, very large sum of emeralds. And I don't actually have a lot right now on my account, or for this character at least. Or if one I have like 64 million, I want to say. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it's that. I will uh, check on that later. However, a lot of you keep asking me, EQ, how do you get that many emeralds? How do you get so much emeralds? Can I get that much emeralds? There's a few ways you can get a lot of emeralds. Very fast, I, wa I will add. Um, now, you cannot get that many easily. See... Uh, what I've done for that specific video was I used my computer and ran, ran a little cheat just to get some emeralds, you know, for a video. Uh, but that's it's not so bad, you know. It's, it's not bad. However, a lot of you don't own a computer or you don't own a laptop or you just can't run the cheat. You don't know how to. I won't be teaching you that. But I, what I will do is I will teach you how to get emeralds really fast. Now, there's quite a few methods. So I'm going to actually tell you how to, get, uh, how to do all those. So... Let's get right into it. Alright everyone, so the first way I recommend is grabbing some prospect armor and just running Creepy Crypt. Because Creepy Crypt, it has so many secrets right now. I don't even know how many there is. Hold on, let me check. Uh, it has a total of... So this one only has 5 with 14 chests. But even that's a lot. And you can get up to an insane amount. Around, I want to say, like, 32. Something like that for the secrets and chests and everything. And there's, there's a lot of emeralds everywhere, so if you grab something like Triple Prospector Gear, you can get a lot of emeralds from doing this level a few times. I cannot believe it's trying to do that well, or try to. Uh, I'm a, I have it on default. This will work on any difficulty, though. Uh, I'm running a default because, well, it's pretty easy to run on default, and I don't think the emeralds are affected, to be honest. I mean, as you can see, I'm still getting emeralds the same and everything. So, that's one way, uh, so I'll tell you how much I get, or you'll see how much I got at the end. Right now I have 50,000, I'll see if I get 1,000 or more from running this level, so, uh, let's quickly do that. Hey, hey you, yeah, you watching the video right now, guess what? I have a Patreon, can you believe it? A Patreon, I know, it's crazy. So, for $5, you can get, hear this, bonus content more content that other people watching on YouTube right now don't get to see. Also, you get a shout-out. Isn't that crazy? And if you throw in an extra 5 which is $10, you also get behind-the-scenes content, such as vlogs, and you get access to polls, and even phase reviews. Now, if any of that interests you, go over to my Patreon. I will, I'll link it in the description for you, alright? Don't don't feel don't feel pressured to though. If you if you don't want to or you don't have the money, you don't have to, you know. But it will help and all the money will go straight to my content, such as getting better video graphics, better quality, and everything else, all for your guys' enjoyment. So, if you got the money and you wanna help out, feel free to check out the Patreon. Link is in the description. Alright, let's get back to your video. Alright everyone, so we just got done with the uh, Creepy Crypt level, and I got about a thousand emeralds, but that was with me kind of just trying to speed through it. Uh, I didn't really take my time, I didn't really get any of the secrets or anything. So you could probably get around, I want to say maybe three, four thousand emeralds at least, going through it fully. Um, so that's not, that's not a bad amount of emeralds, that's honestly quite a lot. So if you want, go through that. Uh, I will be giving away this Triple Prospector armor to someone in the comments. So, if you want it, let me know in the comments. One of you can get it. Uh, also, I recommend using a diamond pickaxe. And if you can get one that has the enchantments prospector on it, that'd be even better. But it already has built-in prospector. So, pretty damn good to use. Pretty good combo. I didn't use it, honestly. But, you know, it, it's something. You know, it works. Uh, on to the next method. Alright, everyone. This next method involves the desert temple. And believe it or not, it doubles as a unique farm. So... Uh, take that information as you will, and let's get right into it so I can show you how to do it. Alright, for uh, for this one, everyone, you just want to speed run through it. Honestly. Oh my god, the husk was on it. You see that? Alright, you want to just speed run through it. You don't have to have speed run armor. It just helps, to be honest. It does a little bit faster, you know? Uh, but I'm just going to run through this real quick, through all this stuff. The generation might be a bit different for you, honestly, depending 
um, the level and everything. And your luck and RNG and all that other tech stuff. You're gonna run over, you're gonna get to a part where it says find the golden key. You're gonna run right through here. Very speedy now, very fast. You're gonna have to hit this, uh, thing, activate it, whatever. There's gonna be some mobs, but it should be fine. Grab the key, avoid being hit, because you will drop the key if you are hit. Whoa, there, that was close. Then you wanna just pop this in here. You don't have to fight anything. Oh, I got spider stuff that was coming up. Alright, careful, there's a lot of traps here, but if you just run for it, you should honestly be fine. Uh, here's the luck based part. If you go through here, yes, I got lucky, okay. So, it's either gonna be the camera like this, or the camera will be over here, facing this way. If it's facing the other way and you don't see this back part, uh, you didn't get lucky enough to get the obsidian chest. However, if you roll right off and go in here, guaranteed obsidian chest. Very nice. Uh, that time it didn't give me a unique, but usually it gives a unique, uh, especially if you have luck of the sea on it. Uh, I only got an artifact and a glaive, but that's okay, that's okay. And then we got one other chest right up here. That common, wow, I was not lucky. I mean, I think I'm going to rerun that one more time. There's also, if you want to, a pig up here. Go to him. Enderman, and yeah, a pig. Look at all that loot. And then from here, you can either go and defeat the level, or you can just go back to camp. It's up to you, really. Either one works. So let's, uh, let's rerun the level one more time. Alright everyone, this is the unlucky uh, camera angle that you probably don't want, but you can still get. Oh, I didn't even make it on the top. Let me try that again real quick. Excuse me, husk. Oh, he dropped a bow. Dang it, why am I so bad at that? Uh, it's kind of hard to get when the camera's off, but you can, uh, you can still go down there, and you'll even hear the... Uh, usually you hear the door open. I don't know why it didn't. Uh, but go up here. You just won't be able to go get the obsidian chest. But this one will always be here. We got rare, and uh, usually you get unique from the obsidian chest, not always from the uh, gold chest. However, this is technically a gold farm, as you see. You can salvage stuff. It's 20 emeralds, uh, 20 emeralds, 20, and then 41. And then the uniques usually go for around 100, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, can go check later, but yeah. Uh, so let me go right up here real quick, I'll get the pig, and then we will go on to the next method of gaining emeralds quickly. And, oh, actually, I just realized there's quite a few pots of emeralds just in this water here, too. Uh, the pig, I don't think, is guaranteed, and the enderman definitely isn't guaranteed. There we are, you see it? I think there's always a mini boss, and then the pig, I've never seen not spawn, so maybe the pig's guaranteed, I'm not actually sure. Alright, let's get right into the next method. This next method could be kind of slow at times, but it does work. If you want, go to the Adventure Hub. Even if you go to the Free Pass, as you can see here, let me scroll all the way back to the start. You get emeralds right away. You get 500, and then next you also get 500. You keep leveling up, though, doing the, the missions at the bottom. See, I haven't actually finished all mine. Defeat Ancient Mobs, all that other stuff. See here, 500 emeralds. Then it goes to 1,000 emeralds, and that builds up over time. 1,000 emeralds again. Uh, 1,500, and it keeps going up. I'm not sure what the max is. Uh, let's see here. It looks like the max is 2,000 emeralds. Uh, but you can get quite a bit, especially if you also have the other pass. Actually, I don't know if the other pass even gives you emeralds. It doesn't look like it does. But you can get a lot of emeralds from the Adventure Hub, and also, if you just go through your storage chest and clear it out sometimes. I mean, seriously, I have a lot of stuff in here that I don't even use, such as, like, this Blast Fungus bop out of here there's 32 more emeralds easily you see that um so yeah and if none of these tips seem really good to you and you don't really want to grind out or do all this stuff for emeralds there is a way to get emeralds completely afk without doing anything and i will link that video right here at the end screen with that being said i hope you all enjoy click on that video to see the how to get emeralds afk overnight and this other video is my most recent video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the